All right, so this man right here wanted me to read some of the Bible to him and whoever else is listening. All right, Romans chapter 1, Romans chapter 1 in the New Testament, it says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness because what may be known of God is manifest in them for God has shown it to them. Wait for it. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. You're without excuse. We're all without excuse. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify Him as God, nor were they thankful, but became futile in their thoughts, that would be most of you, and their foolish hearts were darkened. That would be most of you, your foolish hearts were darkened. Verse 22, professing to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man and bird and four-footed animals and creeping things. Here we go, verse 24. Therefore God also gave them up to uncleanness in the lust of their hearts to dishonor their bodies among themselves. Who exchanged, verse 25, here we are, who exchanged the truth of God for the lie and worshiped and served the creature rather than the creator. Sir, sir, sir. Blessed sir. forever, amen. Verse 26, for this reason God gave them up to vile passions, for even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against nature. Likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust for one another, men with men, committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the penalty of the error which was due. And even as they did not like to retain God and their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting, being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness. They are whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, 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 boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who knowing, who knowing the righteous judgment of God, that those who practice the same are deserving of death, deserving of death. Not only who do the same, but also those who approve of them and those who practice them. So the Bible and the New Testament, the Bible and the New Testament, Matthew 7, do not judge or you do not judge. No, that's talking about keep, hypocritical judgment. Keep judgment. reading, keep that's reading this. Keep reading, reading Matthew 7. Keep that's reading. You can't just pick and choose. Judgment. Gotta keep there reading. There are digest truths no. in the Bible. No, no, no homosexuality.
Thank you. I'm, I'm here to love you. I'm here God, to love you. God's love. There is no proof that God is real. You are real. God's you love. Right God's love. God's love. God love rebukes. Are you not? Are you ashamed of yourself or something? No, I'm not. Why? You're proud to be gay. Okay. Then why don't you want to be on camera? You parade around town, but you don't want to be on my camera? No, because I don't want to be on your camera. Maybe you have a little bit of conviction. Maybe you have a little bit of conviction that feels bad about what you're doing. No. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little no. bit. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit. There's a little bit of your conscience that thinks that you're wrong. There is. That's God. That's God. That's God. I used to be a pervert, too. I used to be an outlaw. I used to be an outlaw. I used to be a pervert. A pervert. I used to be an outlaw. I used to be an outlaw. You're an outlaw against God. But there's a bounty out for your head. That's why I'm here with a bloody head. Because your blood's on your head because you've been warned. Bloody head. Yeah, bloody. See the blood and stuff? The Bible says that your blood is on your head. That's not real blood. It's fake blood. It's symbolic of the blood that's going to be on your head if you don't repent. If you don't change, you're going to char. No, repent. Change your attitude towards God. You're rebelling, you're rebelling against God with your lifestyle. I would used to be rebelling against God. You're rebelling by your sexual immorality. You're rebelling with your with your lying. You're straight. Okay. So are you a supporter of Pride Parade and Festival? I'm a supporter of everybody. Well, then you're not of God because God doesn't support evil. This is evil. This is evil. Proverbs, I believe it's Proverbs 8:13 says to fear God is to hate evil. So we need more. We need more hatred of evil. If you love God, you hate evil. That's why we're here. Okay. So we need a holy hatred here today. Not to hate you as a person, as your soul. We love you. We love your soul. God loves your soul. He created you. But we need a holy hatred. A holy hatred of what is evil. I mean, I've been okay? since I was two years old. Well, then what in the world happened to you? What church are you going to? Joel C? I'm confirmed Catholic. You're confirmed Catholic? Yes, My damn. goodness, you're double damned. You're a Catholic and you're a... I got what a, are you? I got a timeshare in hell is what I got. You got a timeshare in hell. Hell yeah. I tell you, in hell, you're going to burn forever. But you can hey, repent. you know what? All of us maggots burn but you don't have to you don't have to burn. I don't want you to burn. I, I want you I want you to confess and forsake your sin and be changed. I do God can change you. You know what sin I have to forsake is that one time I got spit roasted by these two hunks. Oh my god. I mean it was a night, but you know I had to go. I did my Hail Marys. I got it now. My goodness, your mouth wasn't made for semen. Your mouth was made to praise God. Your mouth wasn't made to swallow semen, you pervert. Your mouth was made to praise God. You were made to worship God. I tell you, do you like it in the rear end? Hell yeah, they call my mouth the cum dump. My goodness, your anus was made for defecation, not penetration. You were made in the image of God to glorify God. Can you please not say swallowing semen in front of small children? Look at you. You put you you're a judgmental. You're so judgmental. My goodness. You're my goodness. I believe in judging. I'm righteously judging. Yes. No, God says to make a righteous judgment. Yo, John 7, 24. You too. You too. You too. You too. God bless you. God bless you. I pray that you repent. I repent. Jesus said Jesus said that you need to repent or you're going to perish. Don't get mad at him because he doesn't know how to rock a gay flag. Okay. No, I'm rocking a gay flag with this fake blood all over it because the blood is on your head. I'm into that. Yeah, and you don't repent, you're going to perish. Your blood is off my hands, Catholic. Your blood is off my hands, pervert. All right. Yeah, with blood on it. With blood because the blood is all over it. Yeah. Yeah. No, God made the rainbow. Yeah, I thought you I thought you knew the Bible, Pastor. I thought you knew. God made God made the God made the You wish. You wish that's if you repent. That's if you repent. If you change, yeah, the blood of the lamb on me, yeah, I've been cleansed from all unrighteousness. I've been cleansed, pervert. You haven't been cleansed. You're, you're a pervert. You are. You're a pervert, you son and daughter of the devil. You need to repent or you're going to perish, devil. Look at all this stuff, perverseness. Am I going to say that in front of a kid? You got men dressed. I'm not cussed. I don't cuss. I never have cussed. I haven't cussed in years. I haven't said a cuss word in years. What's a lesbian's a cuss word to you? Well then, I know a, I know a man that can set you straight, and his blood is not no HIV positive. Jesus Christ can set you straight, and his blood is not HIV positive. Oh, Jesus is a hater of all workers of iniquity. God says He hates all workers of iniquity. He loves you enough to tell you the truth. You're headed to the lake that burns with fire if you don't repent. 
but God came to set you free. God came to set you free. You're not gay. You're unhappy. You're not gay. Gay means happy. You're not. You're not happy. You're unhappy. You're unhappy.
the problem with most of you? You're trusting in the arm of flesh. You're trusting in your pride. You're trusting in your arrogance. You're trusting in all that is evil. You're trusting in an abomination. You're trusting in a fantasy. Your pride is a fantasy. All of this is an illusion. The devil has created an illusion of joy. The devil has created an illusion of happiness by your gayness. But I tell you, your happiness is dependent upon your relationship with God. And there's no way that you're going to have a relationship with a holy God unless you turn from your wicked ways. But I tell you, your sins have separated you from God. Your sins have separated you from a holy God. So today is the day that you can make peace with God. Today is the day that you can turn to Jesus Christ and live. Turn to Jesus Christ before it's too late, lady. You probably call yourself a Christian, but by your deeds you deny Jesus Christ. By your deeds, by your actions, I tell you you'll know a tree by its fruit. I tell you the axe is laid at the root of the tree. And every tree that does not bear good fruit is going to be cut down at the root and thrown into the fire. So I tell you, the axe, the word of God, is at your root. It's coming with flaming fire to cut you down. You that love evil, you that practice abomination, you who love sexual morality and love to do what is wicked in the sight of God. God is coming and he is going to judge you. And if you don't have to die in your sins, you don't have to continue you in your homosexuality, you don't have to continue in your abominations, but you can turn and go and sin no more. I tell you, your name is being recorded in the book in heaven, there's books of death, and then there's books of life, there's one book of life, and your name is going to be recorded, and if your name is not written in the Lamb's book of life, you're going to be thrown into the lake that burns with fire. But we don't want you to go to hell. We don't want you to perish. God does not want any of you to perish in your sins. God did not create hell for you. God did not create hell for any of you. God created hell for the, de for the devil and his demons. Hell was not created for you. Hell was not created for me. But I tell you, you have a choice. You have your own free will. You have the ability to say no to the wicked one. You have ability, your free will, you have a free will to say no to sexual immorality, to say no to drunkenness, to say no to lying, to say no to cheating, to say no to fornicating and adultery, to say no to revelry and partying and pride. You can say no to sin and yes to Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. Will you surrender your life to Jesus Christ? Will you surrender your will to his will? Because if you surrender your will to God, he will forgive your pride. God will forgive your pride. God will forgive your arrogance. God will forgive your revelry. God will forgive you of all your sexual morality. But you must turn to him. It's appointed once for man to die. And then comes the judgment. Wait, because what may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it to them. Wait for it. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. You're without excuse. Uh, we're all without excuse. Because all they they knew God, they did not glorify Him, and also gave them up to uncleanness in the sir, lust sir, of their sir. hearts, Listen. to dishonor their bodies talk. among themselves, who exchanged, verse 25, here we are, who exchanged the truth of God for the lie, and worshipped and served the creature rather than the Creator, who is sir, blessed sir. forever, amen. Verse 26, for this reason God gave them up to vile passions, for even their women exchange the natural use for what is against nature. All right, so this man 
man right here wanted me to read some of the Bible to him and whoever else is listening. All right, Romans chapter 1, Romans chapter 1 in the New Testament, it says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress God, nor were they thankful, but became futile in their thoughts, that would be most of you, and their foolish hearts were darkened, that would be most of you, your foolish hearts were darkened. Verse 22, professing to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man and bird and four-footed animals and creeping things. Here we go, verse 24. Therefore God, likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lusts for one another, men with men, committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the penalty of the error which was due. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting, being filled with all unrighteousness.